kind of want to test this more. Basically never going shield bow. Always going Kraken. On mostly everybody. I don't know. The, the way I've been trying to like grasp itemization is that like seemingly from what I've understood is that it looks like you can build optional items more often earlier. But I think that's actually not the case. No, I, I just feel like the uh, the optional itemization just isn't actually optional. Like, I don't think you can actually build it second and third item. I, I think you need to go... Maybe third item is fine, but like, I'm pretty sure... Most champions are going to have like damage, damage. And then you can start building for the enemy. I would compare it to before where a mage could build ma Banshees secondary, right? But it's worse than Banshees because Banshees gives so much MR. Like, it used to. They, they nerfed it a little bit. But like, it gave so much MR that like you just couldn't die to someone with that magic resist. Basically made it so that you're just an unkillable machine plus you have the shield. So if you win it second, even though it wasn't even that viable, It was like, it was helpful in those scenarios. But now it's like, for example, the Mercurial, I tried to build secondary on Draven. I thought it'd be good because it looks like you should upgrade from turd items to mythic or to legendaries. But you end up just dumping so much gold and nothing. I feel like shield boat is going to be super specific. Like, actually, your only goal is to survive. You have no other purpose, functionally. And even then, like, if you go shield bow, for example, I think if you go shield bow, you absolutely cannot go a second defensive item. Even though it kind of seems like it's okay, I don't think it's actually okay. No, I don't think Shield Bow BT is the build. I feel like Shield Bow plus BT is just so, like, win more. Like, you're just all inning on the fact that you're ahead. And may maybe if you are really ahead, it's good. Because it just makes you tanky. But, like, you basically just forego any amount of damage you could ever deal. It is on Samira. Well, no, I, I feel like people are getting Samira mixed up within this itemization question. Samira is just broken. She can build whatever she wants. And it doesn't matter. She'll just win. Like, it literally doesn't matter what you build. You'll turbo smurf. 13. Absolutely. I'm lucky for that. In every form. So, like, she can't even be used as a part of this conversation. It doesn't matter what you build. She can build everything and it'll all work. But like, so obviously some things might work more. How do you survive without shield bow versus some of these champs? Why are you gonna survive anyway with shield bow? They're gonna kill you regardless. There are some cases where shield bow is gonna save you. I'm not saying never build shield bow. I'm saying for my two last games that I just played, like Draven, I built, I, I basically built the equivalent of just full virgin. And then I was like, wow, I can't kill anybody. He's had him suck dick. But I was godly ahead. So I, I should have been able to kill people. But I actually spent all my gold into not killing anybody. I spent all of my gold into surviving. No, Draven's fine right now. You just can't build like a fucking virgin. I built like a virgin and I did no damage. I, I thought Mercurial second would be fine if I needed QSS, but it's not. It's not okay. It's just negative damage. I paid 2,900 gold for 30 AD and a fucking null magic. That's what I paid for.
You know how fucking bad that is? I don't think you actually can build like I initially thought. I thought the way you could build would be like, hey, there's a bunch of assassins on the enemy team. How do you survive? What do you do? Like, oh, I build shield bow. I build BT. I build... Fucking, I don't know, third. Some defensive bullshit third, like, material. But, like... In reality, I think if you go shield bow, that's all you can afford towards the defensiveness. Like, if you go BT second, you're basically just saying, Dear God, team carry me. Which might be okay sometimes. But you, you literally don't have damage. You have negative damage if you do that. I think, it, I think the best comparison is shield bow BT. Like, say, say you did that this patch. It would be like going BTPD last patch before the item changes. Would you ever build that? No. Because you're crippling yourself so hard that you'll never do anything. It's just terrible. You have to be able to deal damage to play this game as an AD carry. Because yeah, BTPD is just the exact same thing, right? Except there's like a little bit more AD in the shield bow BT version, and there's like more attack speed in the BT PD version. So like this game, for example, I shouldn't go shield bow. Shield bow would be absolutely god awful here. Because what am I really getting saved by? Like, it'll shield bow can never have bad value because it will get a shield off. But it's like, how much more will that shield saving you likely towards the end of a fight, or even if they're diving you? Like, how much more would that do rather than like? being able to follow up on your team's CC with damage. Because it's very likely that you're dying in the instance that your shield bow is getting procced. Yeah, so this game, I should go Kraken, Hurricane. If I build anything else, it's just grief. I got hit by the bind. Cox. Can't think of more useful support than Rumble. No, Rumble's decent. I'm done. He's a bang, he's really strong later. down.
Yeah, that's a cross map for sure. Try to sneak up on him, and then we fucking sweep. It's just oh, there's a fucking ward on us. Wanna buy? I think you're really strong. And that Jax wants to eat my arrow. See, uh, there's no good angle to top lane from bot lane. Like, how the fuck would I ever hit it? It's like, he has to be in the melees there. Cheating. How is it cheating? What the fuck was the chance it hit there? That's hard as fuck to land. That, that should literally never land. I don't think that was far enough, Sneaky. <laughs> That's all to the other problem with fucking cross map arrowing. Most of the time it doesn't mean anything. The guy just can't kill him. So close. Find show gods coming down. And he's got righteous glory. Turbo Kim tank. Oh god. He's lost his hand. He's actually lost his hands. Another one, another cross mapper coming in. If you didn't think the first one was legit, we got another one. <laughs> That's two in a row, baby. Actually, it's so weird how they like... They dumbed the game down... ...with wave manipulation. the weirdest rumble. But yeah, basically like, we killed this turret, 
and then we had the wave in a spot where like normally I'd be losing out but I didn't actually lose anything for not touching the wave in terms of relative to the whole game if someone else is farming I'm losing but basically it's just me and Jin now get no farm if I'm not pushing that wave or or he's not in terms of the entire game we're getting behind but normally it's like one of us will get behind because we can just set up the wave where it like slow builds into us or it slow builds into them and that's like slow building into them would be bad for me unless I can make fat use of it more than I would ever lose it's really hard to do Sunfire, no wonder. But now it's like, I don't really lose that much for not touching the wave. I just ensure that neither of us are getting farmed. Okay, I think going for this red's a little greedy. Hundred and fourteen Kraken. It'd be really awkward to not fight that kind of thing. Like we're in position for dragon, they're walking in. It's just like we can't just do dragon there because they're just gonna kill us. They're just full losing bot here. Sometimes you can shoot at Morgana, um, even if her black shield is up, if they're stacked, because it's really hard for her to choose a target sometimes. Another overchase, Poggers. Yeah, I mean, there's no way for me to kill them right now. It's too tanky. I need, I need this. They're just pure tank balls. Killed. 
man. Just lose. Sag. Oh, they're not gonna end. Pretty sure they end here. I guess cat's free though, though. I'm actually dying to minions, by the way. Need some life still? I have. I have 9%. No. No, I mean, like, I, I wasn't attacking. No amount of life still matters if I'm not attacking. I was trying to walk past the minions. Dude, I, I can't even imagine how bad Shield Bow would have been this game, too. Like, in every single scenario, it, like, actually would not have saved me. Ever. I was, I was thinking about it when I died, too. I wasn't saying it, but... Just trying to think about it more. I mean, th this game is... I don't know, it depends... It depended how, our, like, our top laner and mid laner did this game, because our, our team comp is super just... protect me or we lose kind of thing. Dude, Katarina seemed way less powerful than what I've seen from previously. Like, compared to, like, the Gunblade cat of before. Would Bork have mattered at all this game? See, that, that I'm not sure. In, in theory, Bork would be good, right? In this type of game? Which tanks, but I don't actually know the numbers. I don't think Bork would have saved this game. Because I wouldn't have got it instead of Hurricane. Right? I'm obviously not getting it instead of Kraken. I would have gotten instead of Lord Doms. Would you really value Bork over Lord Doms? 25% pen. 15% bonus health against champions with max greater max health than me? I don't think so. I think Lord Doms is just better. If anything, it would be like Bork fourth, but I mean, I, I didn't reach Perfect. it, but I wasn't I wasn't going to do it either. I was probably going to go IE. It, dude, even IE might just be bad fourth. Like it might actually just be a fifth item. Went out mortal. Uh, th there's enough healing reduction in the game that like AD carry doesn't have to be the one getting it. Especially in a game like this where I'm not supposed to be the one crippling my damage, right? Would we rather have someone else that isn't so focused on dealing damage to build the utility? It would make way more sense. Isn't Rageblade better on Ash? Instead of what? I think Rageblade... Well, okay, like, Hurricane's gonna do way more damage, AoE. We, we can kinda... I'm, I'm down to check out the fights. Let's see fights. Let's see fights after I got Hurricane. I just wanna see, like, how often I was getting bolts. Because the bolts do a lot of damage. Here I got Hurricane damage for sure. Yeah, I'm just shredding. Did so much hurricane damage there. Yeah, the rage blade question isn't really a thing for this game. Basically. What's my AD? All the fights were like before I even had two items actually. God damn. I don't think rage blade uh, works with the Kraken Slayer either. I don't think there's an interaction there. 
for this game, like, I don't think there's... Actually, no. I was going to say collector, maybe. But I don't think there's really a better item than Hurricane. It is expensive. But it's not without its, you know, reason. I think Kraken into Hurricane was just undebatably, even into Lord Dom's. Like, I don't think there's changing any of those items. I think those items were just, you have to get all three. Otherwise, you can't play this game. And I, I'm not, I, I can't tell you about when Bork is really viable either. Because if I think of before, um, you know, with old itemization, you go, like, just say you go Essence first, right? And then you go Hurricane, and then you go IE. Why would I ever build Bork in there, even if there's, like, mad fucking tanks? Like, I'd still go Armor Pen, and it would still be, like, better because I can kill the Squishies easier. If the, if the squishy ever appears in my face, like, Bork is just not really going to do much. So the, the crit items are usually just better. I think Shield Bow is viable. I just think that it shouldn't be looked at as the default item. Like, you can buy Shield Bow on every one, every game. Like, I don't think that's actually the case. I, th I think you'll... I think you'll find yourself crippling yourself way harder doing that than if you were to default Kraken most games. And I mean, obviously, if you misposition really hard and you don't really get to deal damage much, then Shield Bow is just going to be better because it covers for your weakness.